Assalamu alaikum and I welcome you all to Mashal Tariq Knowledge Venture channel. In this session, we will talk about geometrical properties of circles. It is a chapter 13 in a book 3 of a maths D O level syllabus. Now, symmetrical properties of a circle. There are four symmetrical properties, two on chords and two on Tangents. In this video, we will talk about the symmetric properties of a circle that is on chords. So, property number one is perpendicular bisector of a chord. If you consider that it is a circle and this is O is the center of the circle and AB is the chord on the circle. So, the perpendicular bisector of a chord of a circle passes through the center of circle such that that it divided the chord into two equal parts for example am is equal to mb when om om is perpendicular on the chord ab so this is the first property related uh, to the symmetric properties of a circle symmetric now let's discuss the second symmetric property which is equal chords for such that if a and b and PQ are two chords and they are equidistant from the center so the lengths of both the chords will be equal. So chords that are equidistant from the center of the circle are equal in length. Now such that PQ is equal in length as AB if and only if OM is equal to OM. The exercise 13A in the book D3 which is related to these two symmetric properties on chords. So first question is this given that O is the center of each of the following circle find the values of the unknown. Remember the two symmetric properties that we have discussed solving part A for example exercise 13A. Now how can we solve this? O is the center, B is the required angle as well as A are according to the property number 1 that uh, it is the perpendicular bisector and it is bisecting the chord into two equal parts. For example, this is the right angle triangle. So, the height of this triangle is 5 cm. The hypotenuse and we can say this is also the radius of this circle which is 13 cm. If this is 13, it will also be 13 and 5. So, how can you find out the uh, angle? You can apply the formula cos of B is equal to base upon hypotenuse. Okay. Now substitute the value cos of B degree is equal to base which is 5 and hypotenuse which is 13 and B is equals to cos of inverse 5 upon 13. 5 divided by 13 which is 67.38. So, angle B is equal to 67.38 degree. Now, what about A? Right angle triangle and if we know two sides, so for the third side, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, and what is the Pythagoras theorem? The Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse to the whole square is equal to base to the whole square plus perpendicular to the whole square. So hypotenuse, what is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is 13 to the whole square, base is 5 to the whole square and perpendicular is uh, A square. So, A square is equal to 13 square minus 5 square. And A square is equal to 13 into 13, 169 minus 25. 169 minus 25 is 144. T 
taking square roots on both side you can get the answer a is equals to 12 centimeter so our answer is a is equal to 12 centimeter and b is equal to 67.38 if you have a look at this question so this is the chord which is 26 meter and this is the perpendicular bisector and again the d angle is required the radius is given to us which is 17 meter and uh, the length of the perpendicular bisector is unknown let's draw a triangle c is unknown this is uh, 17 meter and this is 13 meter in this question we know the two sides of the right angle triangle so for the third side we can find out with the help of the Pythagoras theorem so directly apply the Pythagoras theorem which is hypotenuse to the whole square base or which is unknown plus perpendicular to the whole square and uh, c square is equals to c square is equals to 17 square c square is equals to 17 square minus 13 to the whole square use the calculator take the square of the 17 which is 289 minus 13 square of 13 is 169 so c square c square is equals to 289 minus 169 we get 120 and c is equals to square root of 120 and square root of 120 is 2 root 30 so c is 2 root 30 now put the angle d again it is very easy if you draw the perpendicular if we draw a perpendicular on this again it will divide into two equal parts it is given 16 meters so each of the part will be 8 meters so again uh, you can use any trigonometric ratio to find out the angle d meter and d so we know base upon hypotenuse so cos of d is equals to 8 upon 17 and cos of d is equals to cos inverse of 8 upon 17 of 8 upon 17 which is 61.92 61.92 degree so again question number one part b also solved let's discuss question number one part c and you will attempt on your own so in question number one part c uh, look the e and angle f is unknown so how can you find out if you look at this part of the question how can you find out if you look at this part of the question 5 is the perpendicular on the chord which is 12 millimeters so it by the property number 1 it could divide into two equal part which is 6 6 millimeter so we can find out the radius by the Pythagoras theorem okay you will take uh, the square root of 5 square plus uh, 6 square and uh, we'll get uh, the radius and um, just write down so you will be having the radius and it will be easy then to solve this part of the question first you will work out for the e by again the pythagoras theorem because you are known with and you will take the five millimeter according by using the property number one uh, apply the Pythagoras theorem and find out the value of E and use the trigonometric ratio to find out the angle F. I hope you understand this question and you can solve on your own. Now let's talk about question number two. A, B, 
AB is the chord of the circle center O with radius 17 cm. Given that AB is equal to 16 cm, find the perpendicular distance from O to AB. This is the diagram which I have drawn. This is 17 centimeter this is the length of the ab with the property number one we know that it will divide uh, the chord into two equal parts so we can get eight and eight over here so we you can just use the pythagoras theorem to find out the value of c so c is basically the perpendicular and uh, uh, directly apply the pythagoras theorem which is 17 to the whole square perpendicular to the whole square plus base to the whole square square so c square making uh, a c square as a subject 17 to the whole square uh, 8 to the whole square so c square is equals to 17 to 89 minus 64 to 25 put on both side so we will get C is equals to 15. Okay, so this is the required right centimeter. Question number three, which is a chord of length 24 meter is at a distance of 5 meter from the center of the circle. Question number three, a chord length is given to us which is 24 meter and a distance from the center of the circle is given to us which is 5 meter find the radius of the circle again we can use the Pythagoras theorem right uh, by the property number one it will divide it into two equal part 12 so just directly apply hypotenuse to the whole square is equals to um, 12 square plus 5 square and take the square root on both sides 144 plus 25 and get the answer which is 169 this will be the radius so radius is 13 meter okay So let's talk about question number four, which is a chord of a circle of the radius. Radius is given to us is five centimeter from the center. So for question number four, if you um, actually the radius is given to us, which is 8.5 centimeter and chord length is required and the distance from the center is given to us. Length of this by the Pythagoras theorem and you can just multiply it because with the property number one we know that you can take just multiply the your answer with two to get the length the required length of the chord AB. So I will not solve this question. You can solve on your own and let what is question number five? What is question number five? Given that zero is the center of each of the following circles, find the values of the unknown. If you have a look at these two circles, you can imagine that it is related to the property number two. What is the property number two? The property number two is that if the two chords are equidistant from the center, so their lengths are equal. E even if the lengths of the two chords are equal, so the again their distance from the center. So it is the vice versa. For example, over here 12 centimeter uh, is given to us. Now the angle is uh, B is required. So by the property number two, so A will also be 12 centimeter and B will be perpendicular bisector. It is same as this 90 degree. Okay. Now uh, we can apply the same 
over here also the angle will be 90 degree why angle will be 90 degree and what will be the length the length 12 centimeter because they are equidistant according to the property number two the cords are equidistant from the center of the circle so the length will be equal so if it is 22 it will also be 22 and x is the half of the 22 which will be 11 centimeter 